Back now with a live look over Kansas City on this Friday evening. The first one to feel like fall this year, and so far we really aren't seeing much color in the trees yet. But Alina Lee is taking a look at when we could. Alina. Yeah, you guys, it's uh, now finally feeling like the season we're actually in. The unseasonally warm conditions that we were feeling not too long ago, those are finally behind us and we can now enjoy the fall like conditions. But uh, it's that time of year as well to keep track of the changing leaves. However, maybe not so fast. And the leaves were spectacular last year is what we're looking at from this picture here. As you can see, the beautiful colors all ranging from yellows to oranges and even the reds. Everything was so gorgeous last uh, season. In fact, well, there's a this year might be a little different story. There's a chance we might not get the best year, but I wouldn't worry too much. I actually spoke with Wendy Sangster from the Department of Conservation who says last year was an A plus. But if she had to give this year a grade, she would say maybe a B minus, and that's because experts are worried about common fungal diseases that could actually hamper the chance for some leaves from changing or changing. In fact, a little too soon. Last year was the sunny days and the cooler nights that actually led to the beautiful fall colors, but there are so many other factors that really come into play when you see the changing leaves. We do have a graphic and I uh, hopefully we can see that here. Here we go. This is what it looks like for the best fall colors so far right now at this time. As you can see, the colors getting darker in from the yellows into the oranges, the farther north you go. That's where many of the fall colors have actually reached their peak. So here at home, we still have a pretty long way to go. What you're looking at now is a map to show you when we're getting closer to that peak time for those colors to change here. And of course, it's still in the green for Kansas City, Lewisburg and Branson. So these leaves actually indicate uh, where we sit as far as when we reach our peak. Looks like Weston is just barely ahead of the game and Sangster says we should reach our peak by mid to late October. So we still have a couple weeks away and it should actually last until early November. So as the colors change here, we want you to share your photos with us here on our Facebook page uh, at KCTV5. Just use the hashtag StormTrack5. Brad Ellen, back to you. Yeah, when those colors pop, it is just it's oh, yeah. so beautiful. But yeah, you make a good point. They, they just haven't changed yet at all. We're still waiting. <laughs> Thanks, Elena. Yeah.